today I have these, I've had these before, but it's really all I really want to eat right now. It's just a popsicle and sort of these fruit chillers. So today, my phone was stolen. And I was at work. And I usually record my videos on my phone. But I'm using a PS Vita to do it now. And, um, I was at work, and I haven't even been there for a week. And I was, I just took out my phone for a second. To, um, message someone. And I always put it back in my, my pocket. The customer was coming, so I rang them up. And the next second, when I looked down at the counter where I put it, it was gone. So, um, it's an iPhone 4, and I have know a bit of a money issue now and I really can't especially be spending money on a new phone especially you know something as extravagant as an iPhone um it's just uh, really upsetting because I don't really have a lot of nice things. And it's like one of those few nice things that I have. And it's, it's not supposed to like make me happy of course, but it's just, it was something that was fun and it made my life easier and convenient. Um, it was an overall compliment, um, and so to my life, and I just, and it was stolen from me. It's kind of like, I don't know. I was really upset, and like I still had like hours left of work, and like I told, and I was like, I really don't want to be there or there. Hmm. This isn't like tragic foreshadowing of how the rest of my job is going to be like. Um, it's a new job and uh, there's so much that I have to learn. And I'm like stressed out enough. And it's just this and it's just ugh. I like filed a report with the police and I'm going to review the surveillance tapes tomorrow and I don't know I just don't want to deal with that.
part of me just wants to say fuck it, but I do need a phone, so... This has been a really stressful week, and I really haven't had any luck relaxing, but I don't know. I think in another interview where I was also eating some sorbet, um, or these, um, freezer things, I mentioned in the description, was like, when I, when I started the video, my roommate just all of a sudden, so I was in the living room. He just started talking on the phone. He was so loud. You probably heard him. But. It's weird because I don't even really. Consider him like a full roommate. I know that sounds kind of strange. Because I live kind of in a strange living situation. That I think a lot of people would. Probably. Abhor. But. I live with my boyfriend, and we share that same room, but we live in a two-bedroom um, ha- uh, place, and the second bedroom is uh, belongs to his ex-boyfriend, and it sounds really weird, but, I mean, it works out, and it hasn't really been weird at all, but... My boyfriend's ex has, like, this friend who's, like, living with him in his room, and I don't know if he's, like, really going to school, or I don't know, but it's, like, really annoying because one big thing that annoys me about him is that, like, even when I wasn't working, I was, like, busy always trying to find a job and or doing other things. And the last thing I really wanted to do was clean the kitchen and do other things. But it was kind of always left up to me. But now I'm working and I even have even less job or less time. And it's like... I come home and the last thing I want to do was four people live here and so like I will clean and like literally like two hours later it will be like a total mess and like look even worse it'll be like dishes piled up and the floor will be a mess and you know like it's cockroaches are everywhere now in Florida it's that time of this uh the year and it's just disgusting, and 
and he doesn't really like help out like he i i think like i've lived here for like six months and he's and he's lived here for about that same time and i think i've seen him clean the kitchen like three or four times and he doesn't pay rent and i'm just like he doesn't really do anything to like contribute at all whereas like all the money that i make goes like directly into the bills and I never go out or do anything fun. Yet, like, he's been, like, going on vacation sometimes. And he goes out sometimes. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I would like to do that, but I can't because, you know... I actually have to pay for shit. So it's not like he's really done anything directly to piss me off. But I would just like it if he would help out around the house. But like, really, if I don't do it, then like no one else will or won't do it for a very long time. And my boyfriend is like a total neat freak and he like just gets so annoyed when the house isn't clean. Um, I really don't want to clean all day and have to deal with annoying people all day at work and then come home and like have to do the same thing pretty much. Now this is a really awful video probably, but Uh, well, hopefully I didn't uh, make this video too miserable, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.